Hi everyone, this is John Dickinson from Motionworks, back with another Cinema 4D tip for you. Recently I had to bake a physical sky because I was working at a shop where they had some licenses of Cinema 4D Studio and some of Broadcast, and the project that I was working in was created using a physical sky, and the other artists who had the Broadcast version of Cinema 4D weren't able to render that. So I needed to bake the sky and uh, I had some help from Noah on Twitter, so thanks very much for that, Noah. And he showed me how to bake an environment. And I wanted to just share that with you so that if you have that issue come up, you can do it easily by watching this. Now, I've set up a simple scene using our movie type product, and I've grabbed a couple of movie type presets. So I have the movie type Crash 18 preset, and that's just having my text sort of crash in. It's got kind of a, a jumpy, edgy look to it. And I'm also using the movie type grid one preset. Just use these to make it really quick and easy to set something up. So that creates my background. And I'm also using the movie type camera arc. So if I choose that from the cameras, that's the arc one preset. So very quickly within a few moments, I was able to create a quick setup like this. And that's the beauty of movie type. But for the lighting, I could have used movie type lighting, but I wanted to use the physical sky and uh, if we just turn it on, actually let's just preview it without the physical sky. You can see it's reasonably bright, but the text is fairly dark. Just turn that physical sky on. And now we've got that really nice illumination on the text. So what happens if I share this with someone who doesn't have Cinema 4D Studio? Well, you know, they get an error message that um, they need the physical sky to render this. So we need to bake it. So the first thing we need to do is come down into our content browser and type in bake. And you can see that shows me the bake environment. I'm going to double click that. And basically what this is doing is fast tracking the setup for how to bake an environment. You can see if I twirl this down, I have a full sphere and a top hemisphere. I'm going to delete the top hemisphere. And what I need to do, obviously, is turn off everything that I don't want to be baked in the environment. So that includes the text and the grid. And also on my physical sky, I have a compositing tag and I've got scene by camera turned off. So obviously, if the camera can't see it, then it can't be baked. So I'm going to check that on. And now we can see it. And if we render, there's the sky. So what I have to do now is come over to my bake environment, click on the bake tag, the bake texture tag. And you can see everything's set up and only reflection is checked. All I have to do now is click bake. And that's very, very quickly baked my environment. Just going to drag this into the viewable area here. And I want to save that now. So I'm going to right click and choose save as. It's going to save that as a TIFF. I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to call this baked sky. Save. Now what I want to do is create a new material. So I'm going to double click in the material panel and just name this sky and come over to the attributes panel. I'm going to turn off color and reflectance, turn on luminance and click on the luminance tab. Click on the three dots so I can load this texture. There it is here, bake sky. Okay, so there it is there. Now here's the thing. You could create a sky object and just drag it on the sky. But the physical sky is more than just uh, the actual sky image. It also has lights in it. And if I was to literally delete the physical sky and just use a sky object, I'd lose all my lighting. So what you need to do, I can delete the bake environment now. What you need to do is make the physical sky editable. So I'm just going to control drag to duplicate that and just Turn that one off so I've got a backup just in case this project gets opened up again inside the studio edition of Cinema 4D and I want to make changes. 
and I'm going to click on this physical sky and I can click this button here to make editable or press the shortcut C. Okay, so now we have a null object and you can see there's a bunch of things nested underneath that. Now I don't need the shadow plane, but you can see the physical sky has a sky object and you can see the material here says sky material. Now I'm going to replace that with my sky. Just click like that. And under sky null, you can see we have a sun and a moon. And under the sun, you can see we have a sunlight. So that's why you don't want to delete this if you want your settings to match exactly the physical sky before it was made editable. So I think we're pretty ready to go with that now. So the actual physical sky is turned off. I'm going to turn on the text and the background. And I'm going to turn off the sky. So it's not seen by the camera. And just this one, just for good measure. And render. And it's looking correct. Obviously, we can still see the sky in the background. So that's why we can see it, because I have another tag here. Seen by camera. There we go. So I can get rid of that one. And render. And there we go. So now we get an exact reproduction of what the physical sky was doing. But this is now baked. So that means I can open and render this in versions other than the studio version of Cinema 4D. Okay, so that's it for now. If you'd like any more information about MovieType or to purchase MovieType, go to motionworks.net. But for now, this is John from MotionWorks. Have fun, be creative, and I'll see you in another tutorial.